One of the biggest complaints we get at the outset when people are just starting to figure out the histamine journey for themselves is, for God's sake, what do I eat now? I need recipes. I need ideas. When I go online, there's so many different opinions. Ah, send help. We got your back. In the Histamine Haven online community, we have a resource we call recipes. We're nothing if not obvious. Recipes are such an important part of gaining a foothold in figuring out new way to feed yourself, especially when histamine is around. And finding recipes, well, it would be really nice if we were really organized and had somebody in charge of all that, but we've put our recipes in so many different places in our social media posts, in our newsletter, on our blog, in some hard to find things on YouTube, unless you know the magic word you can't access. So we decided to put it all in one umbrella where you can find all of them. So this is the one repository where you'll find the links out to every single free recipe access there is in the Histamine Haven online community. So let's go ahead and jump on the hub and we'll show you where to find those recipes and what that can look like. Okay, so here we are on the hub. Let's make our way to the online communities, the Histamine Haven community, scrolling on down to the bottom of the modules and there is our recipes module. Let's jump in, click on the title. And here, a couple of different things to get you started on recipes if you need some more than what's here, but keep scrolling for what you can link out to. All right. What do I want to say? Oh, yeah. So there's quite a few. We've arranged them according to sections, much like we have the sections of our book. So here we start with kitchen staples and we go on to beverages and we have mains and sides and salads and baking and sweets kind of things. So find them according to a category of food, if you will, or a category of recipes. And each one has the title of the recipe, a note on where this recipe came about, a bit of history about it, and then a direct link out. So here we've got kitchen staples where you can learn to make your own ghee and why it's important. We've got beverages here, and all of these are free access, by the way. There's a moringa latte. We have some baking ideas here, rosemary shortbread cookies. They were on our blog. We have quite a few there and then our mains. Now this section keeps building with time. I wanna be very clear. One of the ones I really wanna make sure that you find is this one, the chicken meat stock. So chicken meat stock is that one single biggest food as medicine pieces that you can put in place, especially when histamine is a problem. Whether you can't break down histamine or your body is making extra histamine, including chicken meat stock on a regular basis in your day-to-day -day life is what you're going to have. It's going to be one of those helpers to reduce how your body is releasing histamine and dealing with histamine if you're having a problem with it. Bone broth does the opposite for many of us. I was one of those people that could not tolerate bone broth. The low histamine alternative is a chicken meat stock. This is a full half hour video. When you click on the click here button here, it takes you right to this page and it's a 30, oh, it's a 20 minute video, Never mind. on our YouTube page. You can only access it, it's unlisted, so you can only access it through these recipe modules on the online community. This explains what low histamine chicken stock is, how you make it, and why it's a better option than bone broth. So that's the first one. So the next recipe I want to highlight is this one pan roasted marinated rack of lamb. This was a recipe that came about from a student at a local culinary school here in Calgary. We were involved in the program and helping them to expand their thinking beyond the boxes to think about ways to cater perhaps to a population that wouldn't have special dietary needs. And Maya came up with this really amazing recipe with very, very big restrictions. There were not very many foods she could choose from, but it had to be delicious and it had to fit certain needs for the person who had six different chronic health diagnoses. This is the recipe she came up with and it was amazing. So there's a bit of the story. And then down here we have the ingredients and the recipe and the how to. So you can access that in that recipes module. Let's keep scrolling down, see what else we come up with. 
So we've got some salads and sides. This skillet latka, that's something that we had on our blog back in December of 2021. So if you need a new recipe for a side dish with a inspired by the latka, it's a low histamine version using sweet potato. We've got the recipe that you can download and print up so you can have in your kitchen. Let's keep scrolling down, seeing what else we find. We have desserts here and we have some baking goods a little bit higher up. I wanna show you this one. This is a mango sorbet that we featured, perhaps the simplest recipe we've got. And it was a mango sorbet recipe that we talked about on a blog post back when we were first starting in the summer of 2021. So we've put all of these links together for you to access with ease, with the hopes that you'll feel empowered and ready to dive into something new. Because that's what we want for you. We want you to feel that abundance. You know, when you start to come at things thinking, oh, I, I have histamine issues, I have to go low histamine. You start to approach this from a, a process of elimination and restriction. And we wanna invite the opposite. We wanna help inspire this sense of abundance, the sense of adventure, this sense of turning to food to be not only delicious, but nourishing, fulfilling, and give you something exciting to look forward to that, yeah, as a bonus also helps you feel better. Who doesn't want that for their life? So I'm going to throw a challenge your way. I want you in the next week, I want you to pick one of those recipes from the recipe module in our online community. If you're not in the online community yet, could you please sign up? The link is below the video. But go ahead and pick one of the recipes that you're going to attempt in this next week. Go ahead and draw up your grocery list and then make it and get in touch. Tell us how it went. Hit us up on the socials or hit us up on our Facebook page or Instagram page, whatever. Let us know how it turned out. We sure want to know what you thought of it. And we wish you well in your kitchen endeavors in helping you build that histamine haven.